Why, hello. I'm really excited to be here today. Thanks so much for having me to discuss the opportunities for our most cherished resource and the reason we're all here, our MKAS student body. Months ago, it dawned on me that some associates of mine may perfectly fit the interest of our parents' association when it comes to sponsoring an international speaker to join us here in Monquiera. A speaker to uplift, motivate, and inspire our students to seek intrinsic rewards through the service and assistance of others. Service-centered learning is a feature of reputable international schools around the globe. It is also a long-standing tradition at MKIS where we have a variety of such opportunities to challenge and engage our students. Groups such as the GIN or Global Issues Network, Habitat for Humanity, and Project Cambodia have helped students apply principles from their education and coursework to real-life situations while developing a greater awareness of the social and global problems that humanity is faced with. Hmm, well then, good for us. Isn't that great? Yes, it is. But we have to agree, as a school and as a community, that keeping our service clubs effectively active takes much more than a handful of dedicated teachers and keen students to show up each year. In fact, it requires a whole community to engage and underline the topic. An active community of caring parents, dedicated educators, and of course our energetic, intrinsically driven students who understand what global citizenship is really about. This is no small feat, even for the best and most shining examples of caring communities and finely tuned international schools. Bringing in speakers such as Salva Du, one of the renowned Lost Boys of Sudan and founder of Water for South Sudan, fosters the type of awareness and inspiration a school year often needs to ignite a new academic year, a year full of student questioning, hard work, and service initiative. The type of hard work that hosts a week of speaking engagements, student workshops, and conferences. The efforts of an entire community, enriching everyone within it, and especially our student body, K-12. through So what's next? The current proposal has the MKIS community hosting the founder of an organization which is solely dedicated to eradicating poverty through education. What an amazing fit, wouldn't you say? Activist, educator, and idealist Jeff Morgan has spent over a decade visiting impoverished communities around the world in a hope of gaining a better understanding of causes of poverty. In 2009, he founded Building Walls of Wisdom, a nonprofit organization that is dedicated to creating educational opportunities for children living in poverty. In just five years, he has witnessed the incredible impact of education through the construction of schools in South America, Asia, and Africa. Originally from Toronto, Canada, he holds a master's degree in education from the University of Victoria and attended the Harvard University Graduate School of Education where he completed his principal coursework. He has been an educator in Mexico, Venezuela, Kuwait, United Arab Emirates, and the United Kingdom. With his engaging stories, he has inspired and challenged thousands of students to create a more compassionate world in which all humanity can afford basic living standards. We want this message for our community, we want it for our children, and we have the very good fortune and synchronicity to work together in hosting Jeff, that which he stands for, and igniting another effective year of service initiatives and efforts through our students. Jeff's original goal was 10 schools in 10 years. Since 2009, however, the Building Walls of Wisdom organization has successfully completed 11 school projects. This achievement is proof of the efforts that the driven, focused work of a few can change the lives and living conditions of many, not just for the children and communities they have assisted, but indeed for the contributors alike, represented by individual people, families, classrooms, and much, much more all under the focused vision of eradicating poverty through education. So when it dawned on me that Jeff and Building Walls of Wisdom could be a good fit for us, I suppose that's not a totally fair assessment. I was in fact getting emails and reading the reviews of Jeff being a keynote speaker at last year's Jin Conference in Beijing, a conference our very own MKIS students attended and highly praised. Key Schneider a renowned American journalist and policy strategist had this to say about Jeff after seeing him speak in Beijing. For a globally recognized educator, 
a man who served for years as the principal of an international school in Abu Dhabi, Jeff is surprisingly soft-spoken. His keynote speech, though, told a story of discovery that focused on a young and poor girl he met who convinced him to overcome his concerns about intruding and facing real poverty and to follow her to meet her family. He did and learned about the signature consequences of education and helping poor girls elevate from restrictive and grounded lives to pursue their dreams. In close, I'd like to leave you with the main question and focus of the workshop he ran at Beijing 2013. It forms the basis for his work and the thesis for which Building Walls of Wisdom exists. Noting that our planet and humanity are facing unprecedented challenges on a global scale, he asked students to carefully consider and question the following. In a world with an abundance of wealth, how can so much poverty exist? How does where you live influence how you live? What would happen if more people followed their dreams to create real world action? Jeff ran this highly attended and interactive workshop where students not only examined these issues through lively discussion and activities, but became the recipients of an empowered aim for students to see and be the change needed to shape a better world. If we want to ignite a school year, inspire our community, faculty, and student body with not only these notions and ideals, but real life tangible successes, I think our school and greater community at large has found a very worthy speaker to bring before our MKIS family. Thank you for being with us today and for being a part of the continued spark and ignition of service-based learning and initiatives at MKIS. I look forward to the future and working with all of you on making this a reality. Created using Powtoon.